Okay hey guys, today we set up two tank to hopefully, or two 10 gallon tank to hopefully breed some Petricola. So we have one ton gallon that is set up with a pot and then some uh, clear container with some marble at the bottom. So we're trying this trick in one. And then the other one we have uh, some uh, egg crate, pieces of egg crate, egg, egg crate or you can call those also uh, uh, light diffuser. And then uh, we put a couple decoration that they're large enough and they'll just have two holes to go in there. So there's this little lighthouse and little pineapple at the back there. So and the, tr the idea about the head cra egg crate is uh, the eggs will fall underneath and the petricola won't be able to eat them. And it's the same idea with the marble too, that the eggs will go in there and then the petricola won't be able to access them. In each tank we put only one male and one female. Uh, we have in total, we have about 12 or 15 of them and then uh, we pick the females that look like they're a little bit more round, hopefully carrying more eggs and the uh, nicest longest male. So yeah, one pair in each and then like that the male and female can concentrate just on each other without distraction. And we try to keep the tank bare so that uh, uh, again so that there's no distraction and uh, so that the fish only have like really one place to go and hide so hopefully both male and female will go and hide together and make some babies let's think of a little bit more light in there so it'll be easier to show you but um so the male are usually longer and skinnier and then the female will be more round. So this is the male up front here right now. They're fast. Eh? And then the female here, you can see her belly is all round. A little bit shorter, not that much shorter. But you can see the underneath there, nice and round, compared to the male that is skinny. Right? Because we just set up those tanks today, then uh, they will, they're nice and clean and those fish are going to explore the whole thing. And usually those kind of catfish, they breed at night. So now it's middle of the afternoon, the light in the fish room usually close at 9 at night. So I'm not expecting to have any spawn before that, I think that the fish are just going to explore every single corner of the tank. Uh, both tanks have lids on them so the, the fish cannot jump out and uh, yeah they'll just keep exploring. This tank here is a little bit more dark because only one light is working and uh, it's not working that good. Uh, those are two tanks that uh, we got lucky uh, that our sister-in-law gave us those tanks for free because she was moving. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to use those for breeding Petricola. That's the new addition to the fish room. And then we have another we have another tank here that we haven't set up yet. That's the other five gallon. Might have seen it in another video. Uh, we're not 100% sure what we're going to do with it. We'll probably set it up soon to just, uh, you know, uh, put the little babies when they get out of the breeder box. Like those ones for sure. For example, those are ACI, 
hotel ACI whenever they get out of the uh, breeder box then we'll move them up there so that might be the plan so the fish the petricola has have been in the tank overnight last night after we set up everything and then it looks like with the flower pot uh, we might have have one egg in there, but it's not sure, but both male and female keep going in and out, so hopefully they will breed more. And then where the castle is in the pineapple, we lifted the that lighthouse and uh, there's lots of little eggs in there. I'll show you. See anything? Okay, I don't know if you'd be able to see anything because the eggs are transparent. But uh, there's lots of little round transparent eggs at the bottom here. Right, now we'll, uh, we'll move the fish out of this tank and then we'll let the eggs develop and, and uh, we'll keep you updated on what's happening with the babies. Looks like the male and the female keep going into that lighthouse again like, and keep uh, following each other so I don't know if they're quite done. So. What our plan is right now is to move them in the other tank with the flower pot and then that will give two male, two female in there. So if those ones are not quite done, they can put, produce more eggs and uh, yeah, maybe we'll have eggs in this tank too tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, so we moved the fish out of this 10 gallon tank and the decoration and now I don't know if you guys can see but all those little clear red uh, round spot no not red sorry oh they're clear round spot like this all of this are little eggs so yeah we'll let them develop and then uh, we'll keep you up to date <laughs> 